I don't know what happened before. There might be two copies of the stream. Uh, if there is, I'm sorry. Is this camera's good? angle is not wide enough for both to be on this. It's fine. I'll make awkward commentary from the side. Yeah, you can, you can do it from the side. There, you're sort of in. You're going to have to lean in some. Yeah. What's up, y'all? I'm here. This is a little dork. I just got my new box of gear from MotocampNerd.com, including this shirt. And I'm just really excited. So I thought I might share it with all of you if anybody wanted to pop on while I take it all out of the box. Uh, there is a full length video coming on this gear, this setup, including how I built this entire kit for less than $500 on MotocampNerd.com. But uh, I just thought for those of you that are around, it might be cool to, um, to share it with you live. And just kind of look at what all we got. So we got five full viewers. I'm pretty excited. Five isn't bad. In like two seconds. That's good. What's up, Campachi? What's up, Critter? So um, the other thing to know is on the actual February live stream, which is coming up in two weeks or so, we're going to have some giveaways to do, including some Moto Camp Nerd stickers. Uh, I believe we're going to give away a shirt and potentially some gear. So you don't want to miss that live stream coming up February, first Friday in February. I don't know when that is. A couple weeks. Anyway, what's up, Bobby? Thank you. Hi, Blake. So um, for those of you who don't know or who haven't seen, we've partnered up with a company, a website called motocampnerd.com, which makes perfect sense because nerds and dorks get along, right? So we gotta get, the Nerd Dork Alliance is strong. And uh, he sent me or we worked out. Basically, I got some gear. That's what's happening. And um, I'm going to make a few videos on this stuff. But what I tried to do was build a moto camping gear kit, a complete kit for less than $500, which will be the, the title of the video that I'll eventually yeah. make, even though I'm spoiling it right now, but I don't care, I'm just excited. So thank you all for popping in. So some cool stuff in here, and if you haven't checked out motocampnerd.com, you should you get 10% off with promo code dork in the road. I have a referral link, but I this is my phone and I didn't put it in, so. You can either go grab it out of the post or just don't worry about it. Just go check out the website. Not really that concerned. So let's take a look at um, at the gear that I got that I'm looking forward to using. So obviously it's not camping season, but I do want to get out and maybe try to do something fun like a backyard in the rain, camp out and really put this stuff to, to the test uh, sometime soon. But the weather's not cooperating. It's like the mildest winter I've ever seen here in Oregon. Are you yelling at the cat? All right, so how do you like that thumbnail, by the way? This is my best work. This camera's super zoomed in. So um, in no particular order, let's take a look at some stuff. Pretty exciting. So this is the Sea to Summit X21. This is a cookware kit. So, uh, and this stuff is really cool if you haven't seen it because that's what I like about it. Well, one, all the pieces fit in here. So this lid, it all collapses down and it all fits inside. Uh, has a lid for cooking with a built-in strainer you see that so if you're like trying to drain pasta off or something but it's got a cup whoa it's actually bigger than that if you're not a moron um it has a bowl a bowl with a hard plastic bottom that can also function as a cutting board and this is the real piece de resistance the X pot because it is this is food grade silicone, but the bottom is aluminum, so you can actually put this on. You can't put it on the fire, obviously, but you can put it on your camp stove, on your little which I have one isobutane stove, and you can heat up the silicone pot because the metal is aluminum. Boil water cooking that's pretty exciting. So that's a pretty neat little setup. So and it all packs down super flat. That's what's really cool about it because um, the thing I like about Moto Camp Nerd is. Ben, the owner, is a he's a moto camper. That's why he started the thing. And so everything is is selected, handpicked with an emphasis on packability and usefulness for motorcycle campers specifically, which you don't see like when you go and just buy backpacking gear and stuff. Pretty awesome. Why? What's up, John? Hello. And then it all packs down all that into a space this big. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, another thing, an essential I think people forget about is water you need to be able to carry water with you and people do water bottles and stuff but i got this pack tap this is a four liter collapsible bag that you can fill up with water and i love bags like this just like you know i love my gas bag because when it's empty it it folds down to nothing right you're not stuck with a heart with a big rigid container or anything super light easy to carry so this will be for carrying water with me especially if i'm not camping 
you know, at a campground with water available. So nice to have. Um, I did. So in my, in my quest to build a complete moto camping kit for less than $500, uh, it's mostly things that are economical, that are good value. I did splurge. This is not, not a good value, but it's not the least expensive option. I blur, I splurged on the premium Sea to Summit Eros pillow. So I'm pretty stoked on that. You want to blow it up for me? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Let's let's get a look you at it. This guy get a special yeah. You. Awesome, Blake. What'd you get, man? Oh, hey, Dodo, be nice. The be cats are rude. being jerks to each other. He's grumpy because he's locked in a room all day. Well, that's his fault. There you go. Make that into a pillow. Um, I'm kind of going from smallest thing to largest thing here. Pretty exciting. Oh, I was gonna get a glass of. Should I? Do you guys mind if I pause the unboxing long enough to uh, pour a glass of whiskey? Does anyone care? There's 20 of you. Don't well, be offended. Only you care. So. Yeah. Well, my glasses are right here, so it's not hard to make happen. Oh, it's a growth sound. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Ooh, that's the fancy stuff. I don't know if I want to use that up right now. Let's go for some. Let's do some old Forester. Let's have a little. You can't hardly see that. A little old Forester. So much cardboard in here. You want me to take it out? Yeah, dude. It's in my way. Don't rip my pillow. Try not. That's all I'm saying. Don't rip my pillow. That was gross. I should have put myself up on the TV behind it. I still can, because then we could actually see. No, I can't, because my phone controls it, and my phone is the camera. <laughs> Go get ice cube. This is poorly going. Your ice cube is working out. Oh, well, I'm just going to drink it straight. I do have school tomorrow. Well. Barely. Cheers. Cold. It's only one drink. It's not that much. I think it's people have school tomorrow. Mmm. Mm, that smells like... Why is it so strong? Anyway? Old Forester, because it's pure whiskey. All right, uh, the other thing you need is, uh, Ken Potch, you gotta email me and I'll send you my address if you got some stuff that you want me to give away or display. I'm happy to put your stickers up on my locker. So this is cookware or silverware. You need silverware, right? I, this is a little splurge too, because there are plastic options, but I went with the titanium because it'll last longer. It doesn't have to be titanium. Stainless steel is fine for moto camping because we're way less concerned about weight but um, metal. So there were two options, plastic and metal, and I went with metal because it'll last longer, like I said. You can the mask, you can clip the pillow. Yeah, that's pretty neat, right? All right, what else is in here? This, the UST Trekker stove. So that's an isobutane backpacking stove. What's up, soils? Uh, and this is a good one because, well, one, it comes with the stabilizers that go on your isobutane or just dork at dorkintheroad.com is also an option, but that's that's a good one too, Corn. Um, comes with the stabilizers that go on your isobutane can, but it's also got an igniter. So you see these sometimes that you have to use matches or a lighter, but this one has a built-in igniter in case you forget that stuff. So you can at least cook. I don't have to hold it because if you, you pull one off to inflate it and pull one to deflate it. Yeah, it's a sick valve, dude. How's it feel? Good so far, hold on, put the pink. Oh wow. That's small. That's backwards. There you go. There it is. That's small, but oh, yeah, that is okay. I'm sure you. I've always one. wondered about these because um, Joe Robinette, my basically my favorite YouTuber, has one of these, and uh, inflatable pillows always feel like inflatable pillows, right? They feel like a crappy, you know, um, pool floaty. But this one has a coating, as a microfiber coating on it. it. Feels like a real pillow. This is nice. I'm gonna just take a nap right here, guys, if you don't mind. Ooh, bed. Oh, you fell. Look how big pillows are. Oh, bye. I'm going to grab this cat. That's not bad. That's pretty not bad. Nice. Pretty not bad. And it also, if you have a Sea to Summit air mattress, it locks to it. That's pretty fun. Pretty fun. Okay. Oh, and this one's a little bonus. This is a little bonus I got for myself. Um, nice, Alex. This is, uh, this is, I've always wanted twigs still, sells. so he sells them. So I got myself a Vargo stainless steel wood stove. Uh, and these are just fun to play with, but if you, if you don't have isobutane Bye. or you don't want to use it, then you can heat up water and stuff on one of these bad boys. Check it. So weird. Okay, okay, can we not cat time? Mm -hmm. It's distracting. But see, it's just a little stainless steel with a little door. And you stack up your fuel in there and then you light it and then you just keep feeding this thing with twigs and you can use it to boil water or whatever. So, 
fun. It's just more fun than isobutane. It's slower, obviously, and takes more work, but you can have an actual fire even when you can't have a fire because it's just a backpacking stove. That's all. Yeah, that was Poe. Yeah, that was Poe. He's he getting said, a lot. He said he'll leave. Oh. You're the coolest dream buddy, it says. I'm so cool. Yeah, I think you're cool. Let's just put that right there. Lil Dork's cool. She's my favorite. I'm not Don't lose that. Okay, fun fact. And I know I sound like a total shill and a huckster right now, and that's fine. But um, it's neat when you get to work with a company whose sort of mission that you, you believe in and agree with. It's like a total win-win. And another thing that I really like is he's got this kit creator on his site. And the more you add to it, the more discount you get. So it goes up by like 5% every couple items you add. And one of the things about that is sometimes when you have when you have a large enough kit, you can actually save money by adding more items. And this is an example of that because the kit I put together was actually $506, I think. But when I added this, this is a lamp, a lantern. So when I added this, it actually dropped the price down. It was cheaper to get it than it was to not get it. So if you do go on Moto Camp Nerd and check out that, that kit, make sure you're looking out for options like that where you can get yourself an extra piece of gear or two and still save money. But this is an LED rechargeable lantern. On high, it lasts for 30 hours. On low, 60 and a nightlight mode, 120 hours. So you can charge this every other trip or whatever. So that's neat to have. And it folds down. You can see the picture on the side. Real small. Looks like a Pokeball to me. But uh, <laughs> it's real small. Real compact. And I'm going to fully like unbox all this stuff when I do the actual video. You guys are just getting a little preview because you're here and you're awesome. Awesome. Okay. Um, well, you can't sleep on the, on the ground without an air mat. So this is the Snug Pack Base Camp Ops air mat. And I know Snug Pack is a brand that I hadn't heard a lot about. So I did a little research. So there are, it's a British company uh, and they actually make tents and gear for the British military and they have a pretty good reputation. Um, so it's not a company that all, a lot of Americans, especially probably non backpackers have heard of, but um, their stuff is supposed to be legit. And you'll be able to tell because the next three items are all from them that I'm, I'm pretty confident that the stuff's going to be good. But this is an air mattress. It's a thick one because I'm a side sleeper. So it's a three inch thick air mattress. And, um, but it has a built in pump. It's supposed to be a foot pump, but the videos that I've seen, it's easier to squeeze it, but you don't have to use your lungs. You don't have to carry a separate pump. It's built into the mat. So we'll play with that a little too. That's pretty exciting, uh, I think. I mean, stupid things get me excited, but it's pretty neat that it has a built-in pump, right? Yeah. So stoked. It's a lot easier than having to wait for it to inflate. What's up, Gibson? Yeah, check it out, my man. Check it out. They've got, and the cool thing about that side is if you, anything you buy on there, you know it will work for moto camping because... That's why he's curated it. Um, speaking of compact stuff, I did get one thing that's that's less compact than it could be. So a good backpacking sleeping bag, you know, can be about this big, but um, they're also kind of expensive. And I really wanted to, in the kit that I'm building, recommend a less expensive option. And I also want one. Uh, I also wanted a bag that would be good for colder temperatures. So I went for a little bit thicker bag, but it's only eighty dollars, and it goes down to nineteen degrees. So. Um, so just know that there are smaller options for moto camping, but I thought this one was going to be good for what I need. And I've got the twin, so like I'm not I'm not like super hurting for space. So a little bit bigger bag is no big deal to me. But I'm gonna take this out of the bag, the bag out of the bag. And keep in mind, it's also not compressed down. So you've got these compression straps. But this is this is the Snug Pack Travel Pack Four. It's a 19 degree bag. <clears throat> What's going on over there? I opened it to display it and it exploded in my. Head. Cool, that's fun. It was like instant too, it right. scared me. But it's gray, cool gray color. This one has a built-in mosquito net. I'm gonna sleep in a tent, but if I didn't, it'd be nice to know that the bugs aren't gonna walk across my face while I'm asleep. I'm not gonna take this out and everything right now, but you'll see it eventually in the full video. So that's the Travel Pack 4. That's an $80, 19 degree bag. Good quality, I think. And then the piece de resistance. Wow. Wow, I can't get this box off this table. The coolest thing in here, the thing I'm most excited about is this tent. So my current tent is, what the hell is it? I don't know. I forget the name. Kelty Gunnison. It's Kelty Gunnison 2. And it's pretty good. Aluminum poles. It's a two-person tent. But the bag is, well, it's about like this, but twice as wide. So it's pretty big. Um, the bag is probably two feet by 18 inches. Um, this is the Snug Pack Ionosphere tent. It's a one-man tent. 
but and this thing is like i have watched probably 12 review videos from very reputable and experienced uh backpackers and they love this thing what's up moto camp nerd yeah it came a day early i just couldn't wait i had to i had to go live and talk about it um you want to tell people what we're giving away i knew stickers and maybe a shirt but um what else are we giving away on the big live stream in a couple weeks thanks corn so this thing one man tent uh, but roomy super roomy i can't wait to get inside and show you guys uh, and this is super waterproof, supposed to be crazy hardcore. And look how small it is. This is less than half the size of my other tent. And you can even carry it without, like there's a repair kit and stuff in here, so you can make the footprint even smaller. Here, I'll show you. This is going to take up a lot less space in my bag. This thing is like the size of a loaf of bread. In fact, my camp chair is about the same size. Now that I think about it. Look at this. That's a whole tent. Whoa. It's, 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 like, it's like barely bigger than the whiskey bottle I'm going to drink while I'm camping. I maybe won't drink a whole fifth, but um, yeah. Well, and it's a little bit bigger than a bivy tent. So it's not a bivy. Uh, it's bigger than that. It's a full-on one-man tent. But look, dry bag, right? Roll top. And this isn't even compressed. I could get this smaller and straps to tighten it down. So this thing, I'm stoked about this thing. The videos I've watched, it's easy to set up, take down, super waterproof. These are the tents that the British military uses. Uh, pretty stoked on it. So this thing's going to be fun. This is, this is the piece I'm most excited about. It's why I'm going to do something dumb like camp out in my backyard in the freezing rain because I want to try it soon. I want to play with my things soon. So pretty damn cool. Totally spoiling the video that's coming out in a week or so, but you guys were here. You deserve it. You know, that's all I'm saying. You're dorksiders, you're insiders, you're making it happen. Whoa. But I get a lot of comments um, asking about moto camping videos. When are you going to make more moto camping videos? And yes, last year was a total disaster. And my hope is that this year will not be. Um, I'm getting out. And, and part of the reason why, why I wanted to enter into this partnership because it's awesome. But also because it'll force me to get out, right? I have to get out. Yeah, that's a good point, Moto Camp Nerd. Have you, have you asked T-Dub's kid? Because that guy Moto Camp's like nobody's business all the time. And he's a good, positive, awesome dude. I like him the few times I've interacted with him. So all of this, and it's very compact. It fit in a reasonably small bag. Most Gosh. of it, I can get almost all of this into my Tillamook dry bag on my, on my bike. Um, less than $500 total. And this is, here's the other thing. You can get, sorry, will you go shut the heater off? Yeah. You can get a camping kit cheaper, but the, it's going to be crap quality. This is all good quality stuff, and it's still less than $500. And this is everything you need, I think. I mean, obviously, you're going to bring some food. You're going to have to pack some water. But in terms of everything you need to camp, be comfortable, survive the night, and feed yourself, it's all here. It's all right here. Less than 500 bucks. So pretty stoked about it. And I'm going to have a full video with a list and links to everything for you. I just went live on my phone, so I don't even have my link to the site. You'll just have to type in motocampner.com if you want to check it out. But check it out. Cool shirt. Cool shirt. Fancy. Awesome. Yeah, that'd be a good one. Good one, Moto. How much additional weight can your DRZ carry? Well, I don't know. I haven't strapped a bunch of stuff on the subframe yet, but I would imagine it could carry all this easily if I had a coyote bag or something for it. People do it all the time. I'm not concerned about it. I mean, I wouldn't be like going crazy hardcore until I got everything off of it, but for riding down the highway and getting up a gravel road to a camp, <laughs> excuse me, I've had like two sips to a campground. Yeah. It wouldn't concern me. You're already drunk. Apparently, I'll get the hiccups. I'm like an old timey cartoon of a drunk person. You're turning into a lightweight. Mm -hmm. That's probably it. So what's up guys? What do you think? What questions do you have? What gear am I missing? Cool watch this though i have not kayak camped but i would like to That'd be cool. or canoe camp hey don't break my cool pillow man pretty stoked on that that pillow is nice that's my splurge like i said well the twig stove is a splurge too it's totally extra but i just wanted one to play with it because i like to play with stuff because it's fun why do you get stuff if we don't play with it that's one part is trying to go why is streamlabs doing stuff i'm not even running that computer it knows. super weird okay well i don't have the wheel of shenanigans going because i went off my phone it's interesting that the bot works now when i'm not on the computer but it doesn't work half the time when i'm on the computer the bot has a mind of its own that's a good one bobby i there is no first aid kit in here i have one i have the survive wear small kit 
that's what I've been carrying and I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. It needs a few things like uh, I wish it had like an air splint or maybe a tourniquet or something, but um, I think it's all here. What is a tourniquet? It sounds like a vegetable that's crossbreeding. Tourniquet it? is if you're bleeding, you can wrap it around above the bleeding and tighten it down to keep blood from getting to where you're bleeding so you don't die. Isn't that just a piece of fabric and a stick? Well, yeah, basically, except whatever you put below the tourniquet, you're probably going to lose, so it needs to be a life or death situation. Yeah, um, question about water. That's the, that's what this is for, soils. I will take this with me, and uh, that's, this is a water carrier exactly for that, but not rigid, packs down small, carries four liters. But yeah, that's why I included it, for sure. I have a tool kit from my Africa Twin that I'll carry when I'm actually running the full saddlebags and everything, but... Um, I should make a separate video on that because I don't think I ever did. We just talked about it on a stream. I don't have a full kit for the DRZ. It's kind of the same one. I just don't carry it on the bike as much. Solo camping entertainment. That's a good one. I mean, a book is good. I like to, good. honestly, I like to drink and, um, let's see, I can't say the S word. Uh, light dried leaves on fire that are rolled up. Um, not the, that are brown. Not the Mary Jane kind, the other kind. And enjoy puffing on said entertainment stick. Uh, that's what I like to do when I'm camping alone. Um, I like to read books. Play Switch. Honestly, I take my Switch, yeah. It seems like sacrilegious, but I usually take my Switch when I camp and then I'll play it in the tent for an hour or two before I go to bed if I'm not fully ready to sleep. That looks cozy. Yeah, it's so comfortable. Also, I like to just dink around and build fire and, hire, and harvest wood and sharpen sticks because I'm not any good at whittling, but... I'm kind of good at whittling yeah. a sharp stick. Right. Or like, maybe a wave. Well, yeah, John, that goes without saying. If I'm by myself, I usually have a device that use, that makes a sound that goes like this, pew pew. But one at a time. Facebook doesn't like those either, so, or uh, YouTube. Dude, it looks at me, hi, come here. The cats are poking around. Huh, so yeah, man, that's my live unboxing. That's 20 minutes of video. Pretty exciting. McLevin, you can borrow one of my uh, one of my old pillows, but this is my new go-to. Although it's going to be full of gross saliva if she keeps blowing it up and deflating it all the time. So who knows? Maybe I will give it to you after we ring it out. It's condensation from your breath. So exactly. Awesome. Thanks, Ken. Can't have too many stickers. Stickers. Gotta love stuff, giving stuff away. And I'm gonna have, where did I put them? Right here. So don't miss the live stream on the first because we're gonna give away a lot of Moto Camp Nerd stickers. It's not on the first. The first Friday of February. I, should, I can't look at my phone because I'm using it. Um, in a couple weeks, we'll live stream on a Friday night for real. This is just yeah, a look. goofy doing stuff night. Not like the other live streams aren't a goofy doing stuff night, but good to know. First of February is on a Monday. I know. what. So the first Friday is the 7th? 5th. It's the 5th. It is the 5th. Friday. So February 5th, that'll be our next one. I'm here. Thanks, Soils. I was just so excited. I was like, I got to show my people. I got to show my people this stuff. I've been like furiously refreshing the UPS truck tracker all day, and the dude was like, not even a quarter mile from here. And then he went all the way to another town that was 15 miles away before coming all the way back and getting here like at seven o'clock at night. So that was frustrating. No left turns. Yeah. Interesting how their routes work, but he found us. I'm impressed, uh, Ben from Moto Camp Nerd that you got all of this into this size box. It just goes to show you how compact it is. I can't get over this tent. I'm unbelievably stoked about this tent. I might set it up in the living room, I don't know. Can't because it actually has to have stakes. It's not a dome tent, so don't do it. I have read or seen video of people saying that it fits in the bed of their truck. So when they're truck camping, they'll just throw it in the bed of the truck. They must tie it down, but uh, that's kind of handy, right? If it fits well in the bed of the truck, that could be good. Okay, the Instagram link is accurate. That's a good thing. Good times. Okay, new challenge. Can you get it back in the bag? So I'm trying. Okay. Open this thing. I'm stoked for this thing. Always wanted a twig stove. They're super fun. And look at it. It folds down so small. And this one comes in titanium too, but like I said, us motocampers 
ounces don't matter as much for us. It's all about packability, not so much about weight. So you can save a little money by getting steel versions of things that backpackers would buy in um, in titanium. Is the tent Sasquatch proof? No, because the Sasquatch will be sleeping inside of it. And if it was Sasquatch proof, I couldn't get in. And that would be a shame. Look at the bald spot on my head, look at that. Yeah, you're weird. You're weird looking, that's all I can say. You're weird looking. How cool is this thing? That is cool. I like that it all fits together. Yeah, it's, it's neat. Okay, first attempt. This is Here what as the magpie flies used on her trip. We just watched her gear video. What's up, bikes? You, you, I just unboxed a whole bunch of camping gear. Your favorite. Your favorite, bud. Look at this thing, dude. This is a pot, a bowl, and a cup. Flash uh, unbelievable. Eh, eh, eh. Ah. Forget it. Get it. I'm going to take this thing out of the bag. Going, it's working. Oh, this even has like a little, little cookie clip in my titanium three piece set. Yeah, dude, lots of Sea to Summit stuff. Yeah, that's the thing about, about MoCampNerd.com. Everything is legit good brands. So it's the Sea to Summit Pack Tap, and this is a four liter water carrier. And you can hang it up in trees so you can get water out of it easily. Boom. This thing is so light. It's like the giant loop gas bag of water carriers. Gas bag, I should have worn that shirt. Made this for you. Bam. That's my pillow. Yeah, isn't that crazy? This came in it. I don't know if you want to keep Look that. how small it is. Yeah, can't argue with Sea to Summit. And Snug Pack stuff is legit too. Got some Sea to Summit cutlery. This stuff is so light. Feel how light that is. Not that it matters. Whoa. I kind of want to blow up. Oh, let's take the lamp out. I kind of want to blow up this air mattress, but I got to save some stuff for the video. Although most people won't watch this whole thing. On replay, right? If you're watching the replay, shout out to replay watchers. That's awesome, Beards. Uh, I was so stoked on it, and then I watched Moto Camp Nerds. All, by the way, thank you to all of you that subscribed to Moto Camp Nerds' YouTube channel. We got him 60 subscribers in a day, so you guys are rock star awesomes. If you haven't yet, you should go sub to them. Um, but did you get your, get your custom URL, Moto Camp Nerd? Are you youtube.com slash Moto Camp Nerd? Why are you always being so distractingly cute? my giant loop cup now it's gonna taste like hair that's why you wash it in a wash or a dishwasher not a washing machine why wash it that's silly Secondly, it's a washing machine but for dishes this is a lamp a rechargeable it looks yellow little lamp it looks it looked red in the um in the video a second ago but it is is it not charged it's definitely orange it is not charged what's up beards welcome to the club buddy it hangs if you need it to hang and so it can hang as a lamp, a little nipple lamp. But it also <laughs> packs down, super small, in your kit. Vargo wood stove, stainless steel and titanium to reviews about titanium weakening with direct super hot coals. That makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that water pouch, it's, it's so, I don't know, it's not exciting or sexy, right? It's not like fun, but this is such a great solution for a problem that I worry about every single time I go out. I'm always like, how am I gonna get water? Where's their water? I'm not gonna worry about it anymore because I got four liters. If that doesn't get me through a night or two, That's, I drink a lot. You're gonna have to pee a lot. Well, yeah, I, I drink too much whiskey and I had to hydrate really well. And like I said, you can hang it up in a tree or whatever. It's got this handle. I'm pretty stoked. Pretty stoked. This thing's fun too. And like I said, this thing was basically free. Are the prongs on the forks backward? I don't know what that no? means. It looks good to me. Yeah, this thing hangs here. It has a hook. It's pretty exciting. Big BMW YouTube motor camping crew. Yeah, we got to hit up a BDR, buddy. Yeah, McLovin, look. It says 4 liter right there in the corner. 4L. Can you believe it? Wow. Well, that's annoying, motor camp nerd. Wow. I'm sad for you. i to get that done. Get that done. I can't wait to see if I fit in this sleeping bag. The last time I had a backpack and sleeping bag, I didn't fit in it super well. But I weighed a lot more. Um, A gallon-ish, I want to say. Four liters, you said? Yeah. How many? Hey, Siri. Why aren't you working? Hey, Siri. How many liters are in a gallon? 
Oh, so almost exactly a gallon, a little bit over. Keep forgetting I put it as an Irishman. So oh, yeah, the great poke sharp objects are cool. Poke sharp objects? Yeah, if you had some poke sharp objects, I would spend a lot of money. Nice, Jay. Way. Nailed it. No, knives. Oh. For camping. You said it. You can demonetize. Yeah, I don't know. That's just what he said. All right, I'm going to play with the stove, too, because I'm, if I'm picking everything out. This is a good little stove. Um, the one I have, I got from my dad. It is so 90s. It's like bright neon colors. Cool. It's hilarious. I like it. But it's got, see, the stand that you put your isobutane on. And look how small that is. That's the stove. So if you don't want to take the stand, you can save even more space. But it has an electric or a, a clicky igniter, which is really nice to have in case you misplace your lighter or forget it or whatever. So, yeah. He's a big spoon. Pretty exciting. You have to take weird time bites. Yeah, that's for the for if you're using MREs, which I can't. I... Keto while you're camping gets a little interesting because it's mostly meat. So you love bacon. Want to try one of those? They look so cool. You have one in there. That's not a real one. Corn gave you. It's full on MRE now. It's yeah, I want to try it. Like, Self heating and all that. Pretty exciting. Pretty exciting. My hair looks pretty brown because it's right in between the middle of blonde and brown. Not even blonde. It's green. Okay. That's cool. I'm going to put one of these stickers on my lockers as soon as we're done tonight. I'm giving one away to myself. Whoa. Because I'm stoked. All right, guys. Well, what do you think? How does that stove compare to the Jet Boil? I would imagine the Jet Boil is a little faster, but it's also a hell of a lot more expensive. Aren't they like a hundred bucks? Awesome, Beards. Can't wait to see it. It's a good video to make this time of year since we're not camping as much. Are these in milliliters? Leatherman is a must. Yeah, Moore is a good, good knife manufacturer. And inexpensive. You get a really good quality. A Mora, a Mora Companion is like $16 and it's a hell of a good knife. Jet Boil's in it. Yeah, thanks, Critter. Appreciate you popping in. All the way from Canada. Can't go wrong with Canada. I'm so going to pump up this air mattress and get in this sleeping bag when we're done here. It's going to be hard to keep me from setting up the tent. If it wasn't dark outside, I definitely would have done it. I should sleep in the living room with my new pillow. I'll hang out with you. Well, it's a, it's a sleepover and we only have to work over. tomorrow. I only have 15 minutes of class tomorrow. Whoa. Yep. And then my mom picks me up at 12.30. Yep, my bush, more bushcraft is my main knife. I also have a, um, a K-Bar that... My boy pre owned corn sent me, and then I have a more a couple more companions, one of which I've gifted to her to hand me down. I like my bushcraft a lot. I also have a Gerber Bear Grills knife because even though it has a silly name and a super bright orange, they're actually really cool. Bear Grills. It's actually, and it comes with a fire starter and everything. What? Is this coming? I like it. It's my, the one I keep on the bike in case I get stranded in the woods. And I have batoned wood with it and stuff. Are these in milliliters? Uh, I don't know what it's in. It goes up maybe? to 400. Oh, yeah. Feet. All this Sea to Summit stuff has measuring things inside. Get the bowl. Wait, never mind, guys. Oh, is it? Did you make the knife, buddy? I didn't know. I like it better now. If it's a Beard Grills, beard grills one. Beard yeah. Grills. Yeah, go subscribe to Beard and Critter if you haven't. Lots of off-road motorcycling, camping shenanigans. What's up, Sparky? Travel pack is super warm at 30, and I doubt I'll get down below that. It does not get below 30 often here, depending on where I go. So I'm looking forward to testing it. Like I said, that's why I went with a little thicker bag, because I, want, I don't have a cold weather sleeping bag. So it's okay with me that it's a little bigger, because I have a really big tail and look dry bag to put it on my bike. Awesome, Sparky. What are you getting? Does that have a filter too? Which the um, the pot, the lid has a strainer in it. So if you're making pasta or something, you can strain the water off. Pretty cool. I know. Why I have to. Un close? I know. Adulting tomorrow is stupid. I'd be camping in my backyard. It's fine. Um, Beta five hundred. That is a hell of a first bike. Summer's like four, six months away. Yeah. Well. It's only really bad through mid-March and then... 
four months, you could just teach me how to drive. Yeah. Sort totally of. legal. Not really, but. It'll teach you how to not crash anything. Right. Well, she's getting ahead of herself, but we might play around in the parking lot while she's 14. She's not 15 for another year and a couple months. Two years and three months left to drive. Right, by yourself. By myself. And then, like, six plus six months until you drive with me. You're close. I've said it 12 times, but I can't believe how small this tennis. <laughs> it's light, too. This thing is less than three pounds. Pretty cool. He's also got, like, shelters. Um, if you want to go super, super lightweight, mm -hmm. super minimalist, you can get, like, a snug pack tarp shelter, which I thought about getting one to use just to have as a backup and to use, like, as a awning or to use as a ground cloth, something like that. Yeah, can't go wrong with that. So even if she destroys my pillow from blowing it up 42 times, they'll replace it anyway. Snug Pack's got a one-year warranty. I looked it up today. You look really cool. Yeah. Doesn't make my head look big at all. No, I would tell you what it looks like, but it's a family channel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Good times. This has no CM mesh. Comes with a basic repair kit. Impressive low profile design. The outer fly can be removed. Generously wide protective zipper flap. The name is a bit of a mouthful. Say it, go. Ionosphere? It's just a, like a weird name for a tent. Three times fast. Unless you're like at the top of a really tall mountain. Four yeah, Big Agnes. I have a Q-Core, Big Agnes Q-Core sleeping pad that I like a lot. And the tent, you're gonna get the bike packing tent, right man? So you get 10% off that if you use promo code DORK. And the bikepacking tent is not cheap, but it is a one-of-a-kind awesome item. When is your tent coming out, man? When are you going to... So um, Motocamp Nerd is, is, has prototyped and is going into production on a motocamping-specific tent. And based on the video, it looks really awesome. So pretty stoked on that. Hopefully, hoping maybe I get invited to test it and help spread the word. That'd be cool. Thanks. What's up, Aaron? What? I never. I thought these were silver. They're What's boring. up, my man? They're like the powder yeah, blue. Kind of titanium powdery bluey. That's a great name. For that. I have not garage mostly because I can't sleep on my back. Um, so I have like been looking at the Lawson. What the hell is it called? It's like a Lawson lay flat hammock and. It's not called a lay flat, but one that's got spreader bars. Like, I'm kind of interested in those, that setup, because it would be neat to be up off the ground, but I can't sleep on my back, so i got to be able to do my side at least. You just got your invitation. Yeah, sweet, man. I love it. I would I would love to give it a shot. I would suffocate myself in a hammock. I'd fall around my stomach, and I'd be just dying. It's funny, because I can nap in a hammock, but I can't sleep in one. I can nap just and about anywhere. Some people would say napping and sleeping are the same thing, but... You know, yeah, I've heard good things about those double nest. I mean, and I've only ever used like cheap ass hammocks. Like my nicest one, I think, was twenty five dollars. Came with really cool adjustable straps, so it's great for chilling in. What is with your face and hair? I don't know. Who is it that makes that? God, what is their name? It's super weird, but they make those crazy. Um. Uh, not a muck, something like that. It might be a muck. Yeah, it's a muck, like short for hammock. But they make those crazy lay flat three point ones. Those are kind of neat. Oh, you got thirty viewers. Yeah, or thirty. Twenty. I can't read. Thirty people, not bad for a phone video. Yeah. <laughs> up to forty minutes. I thought we were gonna do like ten, but it's just too fun hanging Whoa. out with you guys. What's up, Kappa? Hi. That's a good one too. Garage, very minimal. Under a tarp. I keep thinking you're gonna like start a sentence about talking about the garage, but it's the first mistake one. I was like, and that's a dude's what, name. What in the garage? I have to charge this or something. Or does it take batteries? I think maybe it takes batteries. Yeah, I mean, the box. Yeah, hook me up with some batteries. What kind of batteries? Yeah, it takes batteries. Good. That means you can take extra ones. How many? Uh, double, three double A's. Okay. It's nice when it. Honestly, rechargeable is neat for short trips, but for longer trips, it's nice to be able to just carry extra batteries and know that no matter what happens, you're gonna be able to replace them. So that's neat. Ooh, 
Let's see how Let's see how blindingly bright this thing is. I think we're about to lose our eyesight permanently. Damage it. What time is it? Oh, gotta get off soon. Gotta go to bed. It's 8 p.m. I'm old AF. Sorry, I had to brush my teeth in there tonight. Ooh, pretty exciting. Glad your night's pointed out. Yeah. All right, let's see how this nipple lamp does. Oop. You have to press two seconds. That way it doesn't Ooh. turn on in your bag. That's actually pretty bright. That, is pretty that would bright. definitely light up your tent. So, okay, hold on. Whoa. So that is high. High lasts, what did I say, 60 hours or something like that? Where's the box? Here it is. So this is high, 30 hours. You get 30 hours. This is 100 lumens. That's pretty good. Low, 60 hours on a, on a set of batteries. It's 50 lumens. Or nightlight, which is enough to find your glasses in the dark, which is what I need. Um, 120 hours. That's pretty good. That's five days. Lazy. It kind of does. It's bright. Look at how it's washing out my face. It is bright. Yeah, it's pretty bright. It turns you into a ghost. <laughs> Look how bright it is. I think it can turn into like a shiny light. It's still my headlight is peeking out. <clears throat> I did not know that, Kappa. That is good information. You should drop that in a comment on that video so people can see it. What's up, Gibbo? Badge is looking good, buddy. Awesome, Aaron. Hope that didn't take too long, man. Just sent out some more stuff today, in fact. Stoked. Stoked on this stuff. Eh, that was a great yarn. I got all this stuff to, uh, got all this stuff to, uh, what am I saying? Stuff to put, put away somewhere because I unpackaged it all. Three days, huh? That's pretty good. Oh, yeah. That moto, that's the ones you can park in, right, Aaron? You can put your bike inside the tent. Those are pretty cool. Expensive. But neat. Cool design. Uh, Jay would like to know when you're going to figure out how to kickstart that bike. Yeah, why don't you walk us through why you can't do it? I have no idea why I can't do it, but... Um, okay, let's move this. Oh, this bag is for that. Yeah. Still. It's mostly because I either think the bike's going to fall over, which I'm getting better at because this bike weighs like 100 pounds less than the yeah. Sierra. Yeah. And um, I think it's just because I, instead of just going straight down, I go up and then down. Like, yeah, I go up and then I thrust down, but you're mostly supposed to stop where you can't push and then just go straight down instead of going up. And down. This does not look like four liters. That's exciting. It's a lot of water. Ooh. Magical. Yeah, Kenpachi, you can moto camp on anything. You just got to get creative about how you put your stuff on there. Critter moto camps off his 250L, and he did it before he had his fancy pantyer set up that he has now. That's just totally not scary. It's pretty bright, dude. That thing's bright AF. I, I like it. it. I dig it. And it was just a neat little bonus. I guess what? 500X is a good bike. My brother likes his. This thing is like way light. I'm stoked. It's like a stingray filled with water. Guess what? Chicken six, butt. Six days so I get my braces off. Yep, six days and the must braces. This is the last time they'll ever appear on camera. Oh, this has a cool little, little push yeah. tap. That's fun. That's fun. It That's glo exciting. <gasps> it glows in the dark. You see that? It, the light charges it. Hold on. Hold on. Look. Whoa, she's beyond excited. That's so you can find it. What? He has both cap. I only have the one, brother. The light charges. Nice, Gibbo. Jones Creek Ridge being Vancouver is a great beginner loop. Awesome. Yeah, there's a really great one at Browns too, but you know that because you've been there, right? Browns has got a couple beginner loops. But I'd like to hit up some of the other OHVs. It's just if I commit to a ride that far away, she'd better be ready to ride the whole day. So that's why I like to keep, to keep her close for now. Look at that. This thing's got strap down points too. Perfect for moto camping. Good. That's pretty neat. Let's it has see. like four lights. This bag is not big enough for both the stove and the legs for the stove. You go from the P-Lot. Yeah, sometimes when I drink too much, I have to go to the P-Lot. <laughs> it's a P-A lot. That's where I go. P-A lot. 
This thing comes with a bag. This is the camp stuff. This is smaller than the one I have. I thought the one I had was small. This is neat. I gotta get another iso isobutane. I gotta order myself one. Yeah, the world is my outhouse. I'm well equipped for such endeavors. Even uh, even duck fans' backyard sometimes. Well, I don't feel like going inside. Don't tell his wife. Pretty exciting. All right, guys. Well, I think we're gonna call it a night. So um, this was just supposed to be a quick unboxing, and I just ended up having so much fun hanging out with you guys. But I'm gonna go blow up my sleeping pad and lay in my sleeping bag and stuff. So check out the live stream on the, on February 5th. We're going to give away some t-shirts, some gear, some Moto Camp Nerd stickers. Big shout out to Moto Camp Nerd for hooking this stuff up. Definitely check out MotocampNerd.com. I'll try to remember to go back and edit this video and put my referral link in, but if you, if you use it, whatever. If you don't, that's fine too. I just want you to go check out the site because it's got good shit. Um, promo code Dork in the Road will save you 10% off anything on that website, which is pretty sweet. Always trying to find ways to give back to y'all where I can because you support me and make all things happen. So you wanna say anything, Lil, Lil D? I just drank me. Yeah, that'll happen. All right, y'all, I'm gonna see if I can figure out how to shut this stream off. Like I accidentally started it earlier <laughs> by mistake. Uh, Good night, everyone. I don't, what's happening? For now, until we figure out. Right there? X? Yes, okay.